Hey guys, Roblox just released the ban API that we have all, all devs have been waiting for. Trust me, I've been waiting for this for a very long time because um, I just hate just kicking out people, just making my own type of system to ban people. And now Roblox has the ban API, which allows you to ban people. I, as you see here, I used it here. Um, I, and you know, you type, you know, the player's name, like my name is YouTube Nike 890. Okay. And then you choose the ban reason. I, um, let's say he's bad. All right. This man's bad. Okay. Um, but of course, if I do this, I can't see it. will say ban async will, uh, succeed on production game servers. Skip skipping request in test environment because this is a testing environment thing. but i'm gonna show you how to make this yourself even i'm also going to show you on how to unban people as well i uh because that is also included with the ban api so let's get into this video okay guys the first thing that we're gonna do uh, to make this, you know, ban API thing work for us is we're going to add a folder um, and we're going to call this ban events. Okay. Um, yeah, ban events. And then we're going to make two remote events and we're going to name this one and name this a uh, ban sent. Right? And then we're going to name this one unban sent script off the bat just so we just have it done. Um, I'll do ban receive well receiver. Okay. And uh, so now uh, go to the description and click on the link that you know on the top of it like above it the link will just say all oh, code here so just go down to the description and get the code for this video um and there'll be like a whole section for all the code um so just copy um the code for ban receiver okay and now that you have done that um this is all basically already done, but um, for you, it's probably gonna different. Um, it's probably gonna have um, this separated. So what I'm gonna do is um, have them be separated. So I'm gonna do UBS that on server event function. You don't have to do this because it's already done for you um just probably skip through okay guys now that i finished this now we're going to go and actually make the ui part because that's all we need to do and we're going to put admin underscore ban ui now we're going to make a frame and this frame is just going to be the main thing that we're going to look at i so let's make this not too big so it doesn't take the whole screen but like big enough so where we can like fit all the stuff and yeah that's basically it for now yeah that looks actually pretty nice that looks nice All right so we're going to add um a local script here we're gonna call it well exit client um and you know go back to the website and uh go to code and exit client the code from there I right. um yeah i'm just gonna copy the code and there you go, that's the code for the exit client. And now there's 
Uh, we're gonna go to the code for the band client. Well, not yeah. I'm gonna call this band client. I and then get the code for the band client on in the link in the description. And there you go. Copy pasted it. Okay. And um, now we will go to the switch button. I'm gonna select for the switch client. Name this switch client and paste in the code um and now uh let's make a button so you can just open it let's make it an image button all right let's make it a little small a little smaller all right and we're gonna do a ui coin i think we're gonna leave it like that because i don't think it needs more rounds um i'm gonna call it open client well not open client open button and then we're gonna make the, an image. I'm gonna just pick out an image. Pick out any image that you want. I I picked out the image. I um uh, now let's put a logo script in here and then call it open client. I and copy the code for the open client. I uh, description again. I and now that you have done that, now you're basically done. I. Uh, now all we have to do is scale all of these. Uh, one thing I have to do, because I in this script it only uses for you for you guys it uh, uses both OBS and BS, but for me it doesn't. So what I have to do is just change that UBS, and yeah, that should be good to go, guys. Did I scale it? I don't know if I scaled it, but let me just yeah, no, I don't think I scaled it. Right. Hold up, let me scale it. Um, by the way, get this plugin called Auto Scale Light because this just makes it way easier to scale uh, with everything, um, and it's free. So, uh, so just you know, press scale, scale, and then um, for the open button and the band panel, uh, do it. like add a one. After that, pretty much done. Just make it's not visible and then if you play the game button is there and it scales and then it'll open up this uh, if you press this it'll switch it oh crap wait something happened ban reason is not a valid member of oh yeah that is true okay well i didn't rename this well the down one i named the down one ban reason okay not ban but then after that, yeah. And then if you switch, okay. Well, I didn't change it to. Oh my God. Okay, well, change this to the down description to this. Uh, now I will actually test this in game for you guys. So, so guys, I'm a ban. Uh, my friend Dank Blazer here. So I'm gonna ban him. Uh, so uh, let's ban this guy. So we're gonna do fuzzy, tro, yt. 56 and we're gonna ban him ban reason because he is dancing weirdly right now and now he's out of the game okay guys and if i switch to unban and i unban him i he should be able to come back into the game yep and now he's back into the game guys but anyways guys I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.